Uh, so we're Bigfoot Stickers. We sell student design stickers here on campus. We also sell uh, vinyls for water bottles, laptops, cars. I think sticker seal is a way to make stickers more personal. The thing that we pride ourselves on is having customizable stickers. I think it's uh, really cool to have a sticker that you can like give to someone and they always look at it and they'll remember you and it'll be there for a long time. IBC begins where they assign you into a company, into a group. Uh, so you start the first four or five weeks in small learning groups. So those learning teams get ideas for products, something that they think they can sell, and then you have to pitch it to that company. Talked about different ideas, what you know we thought would be the most beneficial, uh, the most fun, the most kind of profitable. And then as a company, you vote on which idea you think would be the best. And then you make the idea happen. So for us, we went with stickers, and so then we had to go through research and design, designing them to production. You also have to get financing, so you have to get the financing from a loan to be able to do that and uh, then produce them and sell them. So it's exactly like you do the whole business cycle as a real business. So during the development stage of the company, you didn't know about Seal Sticker? Uh, no. We were aware that other people were looking at doing stickers. Uh, we heard there was a last minute idea that one of the other companies had done, but we weren't sure that they had decided on the idea. We actually heard, oh, there's one sticker company, one decal company, and we're like, oh, well, should we pivot or should we just like try to compete the best we can? I don't know if you remember a while back that with Wendy's Twitter, Wendy's Twitter, McDonald's, they started having beef with each other on Twitter and they started going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like kind of roasting each other. And that was the initial idea, like that creates so much hype and people like so much exposure. And it wasn't really like truly that like, they were attacking each other. It was just kind of a marketing aspect to get each other together. So we kind of wanted to replicate that with stick uh, with uh, Bigfoot. We decided not to go with it. Uh, we thought that our, our brands and our products stood by themselves. We wanted to keep it in the culture of BYU. We didn't want it to be people taking it the wrong way necessarily because sometimes things can get misconstrued, different ideas and opinions. We didn't feel the need to drum up any fake beefs or anything like that. We thought that, you know what, our company's got enough of a brand that it can stand by itself. The good thing is that we have a friendly environment. So it's always going to be friendly competition. It's not going to be, oh, they did this, so we got to like beat them out of business. So, okay, they did this. How can we improve our business as well? I mean, if there's been competition, um, I wouldn't say any more than just competing against all of the other companies. You know, it is just a class, but every company wants to be the most profitable. How do you feel about people like trying to avoid IBC groups because they don't want to get talked to? Speaking for myself, I care about the students here, so talk to them, like try and build a relationship with them. That's that's real. Really want to get to know you. Personally, we are a company of like stronger personalities. Um, so people have probably seen us. We're trying to bring people into the booth. A lot of strong personalities in our group. Um, you know. I don't blame people for going around us, you know, if you don't like the product, like, that's fair enough. Like, I've been in that situation before, you know, can't expect it for everyone.